<laughs> it was me the whole time. Oh god! The arsonist! <laughs> Mother! I, I <laughs> And you guys have sent me a compilation of some cyanide and happiness. Make sure to subscribe to Explosive Entertainment. Let's do this. Another perfect day in the city. The sun is shining. The bakers are baking. The birds are birding. But wait, what's this? The hospital oh. for blind orphans is on fire. Somebody help. Children oh, no. in danger. Not, the Not on my watch. It's Super Dad. Loving husband and father by day, defender of all the dadless children by night. All done. Oh, whatever would we do without you, Super Dad? Worry not, Deft Screamer. I'll always be around. Yep. Ah! Oh, Jesus Christ! Ah! Best case Everyone scenario. Everyone wants to be a hero. Best case scenario, they would have claimed him as creepy. Don't help people. You just get claimed as creepy. Well, that could have been bad. Another day saved! That's right! Super dead! The superhero who doesn't know he's dead! With none of the powers of a superhero! Not so fast, criminal scum! And all the powers of a ghost! Which is none! Your bullets bounce off my pecs like BBs off of boobies! Yes, Super Dead! The hero who lacks any ability to affect the world around him, but is completely unaware of his ironic and unfortunate condition! It's okay, citizen. Jump into my heroic hand hammocks! Oh, thank you. Thank you for your adoring screams. <laughs> thank you all. No, really, thank you. Super Dead! The tortured soul trapped between realms! But let's not forget his mild-mannered alter ego, a deceased husband and father. I know, dear. There's just too many reality shows. Don't worry. Something else will come on next. God, I wish this remote were working. That's right. When he's not out not stopping crimes, Super Dead keeps a low-key non-existence at home with a bereaved wife and a son who will never know him. Seventy-nine dollars? Good gracious, that upsets me too, dear. Who do they think they are? Son, wife, look out! <gasps> My baby! Holy oh. moly! That's the craziest thing I've... Did she? The adrenaline must have... Oh, man! I'm following this story now! Sorry, Super Dead! It's time for the adventures of... Mega Mom! Oh. With the power of unbelievable adrenaline-fueled strength! Except only when her baby is in danger! Nobody move! I want wallets and purses! Now! My baby! <laughs> what? My babies are bouncing off her boobies like, like. Ah! Shut your mouth or I'll shut it for you! Mega Mom throws her baby into danger to stop criminals in their tracks. This is, this is actually kind of messed up. No! No! My nigga! Have there been more burning buildings than usual? Like, is it just me who's noticing this? Why question it? Work is work. So you're saying we can deny claims on any burning building as long as superheroes interfere? It's an old loophole, but if we exploit it, we should be able to get our shareholders a nice, beefy paycheck. Not to mention you and me. Hmm. I have been wanting a weekend, Ferrari. <laughs> Let's do it! The Wonder Percent! That's right! It's the Wonder Percent! Fighting the white-collar criminals no one else fights! The schemers, the scammers, oh. the swanky bankers! The Wonder Percent! Fighting for the downtrodden! N now, look, we don't want any trouble. 
Oh! 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 What is he doing? Oh! Sir, it looks like your three o'clock has been moved to... Oh. Oh! Nigga, wait, no! Why is he so violent? It's, it's just not necessary! I thought he was supposed to be a hero! Oh, my That's God. That's it. I can't do this. Do this one without a narrator. I quit. Please don't hurt me. I just started working here. I'm not like them. Ha ha ha. Oh. I'm <laughs> done with this. Looks like this narrator is out of a job. Goodbye, Carol. Goodbye, John. Sigh. There's just no more room for a 1960s era superhero narrator these days. I was an ordinary narrator just like you until everything changed. Hello, 90s narrator. I didn't see you sitting there. Are you also unemployed? Yes. Maybe. How dreadful a plight. Not no really. one cares for our descriptive depictions of what they're seeing. Audiences across the nation are figuring out the plot for themselves without our help. It's true. What happened to the glory days? The lofty character descriptions, the announcing of events as they unfold on screen. In a world without narrators, you must rise against the odds, 1960s narrator. You're the greatest narrator of your generation because you are the only one. You're right, 90s narrator. I've been a babbling buffoon. 1960s narrator, if you only narrate one fight scene this summer, narrate that one you were just narrating a little while ago. Humanity's counting on you. Yes, yes, off I go! He was an ordinary narrator, down on his luck. But he was about to discover... Sorry, rom-com narrator. The scene's over. Fuck! Uh, hi, Carol. Uh, uh, shit! Ow! Uh, yeah, uh, yes! It's the Wonder Percent! Gleefully murdering the social elite! So the rest of us don't have to! Why do you do it, Wonder Percent? When I was just a boy, my parents were Ponzi schemed in a back alley. On that day, I took a vow to destroy the 1% by becoming the Wonder Percent. But uh, won't there always be a 1% on account of how percentages work? <laughs> uh, that one wasn't me. <laughs> It was me the whole time! Oh, God! The arsonist! <laughs> Mother! I, I ah! believe it, I ah! and ah! it fire! Ah! That's what I do! Ah, uh, yes! The arsonist! The wily fire starter with gas in his ass! Do the title card thing! I don't want to! Do it! The arsonist! Terrorizing the city oh my God. Ass infernos! Stopping the seemingly endless flow of ass fuel is his only weakness! Don't give them my weakness, This dick is loose! You heard him. We it's gotta loose. plug that butt. I'm with you. Okay, I guess they're a duo now. Oh boy. Sure! And me as well! I'm Fire Extinguisher Girl! Why weren't you here earlier? None of this makes any <laughs> Me, Karen, man. What? Sinister Snoop kept saying, oh, my... oh, come on, really? As knowing you. <laughs> what? That's not even make sense. Um, these guys. Wait, 
Tell me, boy. The human flashlight joins the fray. Sure, why not? No. Ah! What? Oh! 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 Box him up. What the hell? Yep, there it is. <laughs> oh! What type of shit? Why the flaming racist? You little shit. Ooh, disco balls. out of your rectum you make a good point no! and so the day was saved by long toe boy that's me yes long toe boy humanity savior this little piggy didn't go home when destiny called long toe boy with one long toe! That's a penis. That's, that's his penis. On his foot. Foot penis. Great job. It's good to have you back. Thank you, Carol. An up-and-coming secretary and a superhero narrator. Two people from two different worlds. But they were about to discover... Why is his foot still in his anus? Was he just gonna leave it there? And now, for the moment you've all been waiting for, the election of our new mayor! Let's meet our candidates. Scissors at the ready. First one to cut the ribbon of our new town hall wins. Let the mayorathon begin! What? Dear God, every four years with this. Hey! Okay, now, if one train leaves Boston for New York at 3 p.m. traveling 60 miles per hour, and another train leaves New York toward Boston at 4 p.m. traveling 40 miles per hour, then where will the two trains meet? Underage pregnancy. Tommy! Huh? I mean... Uh, mm. Unconsensual sex with an animal? Now we set up our equations, okay, um, um, multiply our factors. Come on, um, Tommy, where will the trains meet? Uh, Mad bitch! We don't have all day, Tommy! Mad Come hope. on! Mad Solve bitch. it, Tommy! Hey, you better math! Solve it! Solve it! Solve it, Tommy! Solve it now! Use your factors! Mad Damn bitch. it, Tommy! Solve buck it! Buck up! Buck up! Bradley, buck up! I'm using my white people. You didn't accent. solve it fast enough, Tommy. You killed us. Stop your sniveling buck. You up. killed us all, Tommy. Oh my god! That is morbid. 
public intoxication, stealing from a hospital, brawling in the street, and now we've got you in possession of 13 missing children. That's a felony quantity! I could try you as an adult for that, because of course you are an adult! <laughs> Where are the last two missing kids, huh? Where? Oh. <laughs> Give me the old silent giggling treatment, huh? <laughs> well, two can play at that game. A tee hee, a tee hee hee. Not to worry. The kidnapper was described as a tall, hmm, Caucasian, hmm, with a goofy <laughs> smile, hmm, and a funny little hat. Does any of that sound familiar? What? You're not... I'm so sorry, sir. There must have been some kind of mistake. You don't look anything like the suspect. You're free to go. I'll have the deputy drive you home. The kidnapper was described as a tall Caucasian with a goofy smile and a funny little... Uh oh. Nighty night. Keep your butthole tight. That is not what I thought was going to happen. <laughs> That's where you're wrong. Agent 7 will save me. Just you wait. I'm afraid no one will save you now. <laughs> Let me go. You can't do this. Yes, I can. I'm literally doing it already. <laughs> It really looks like no one's coming to save you. Hmm. No, no, no! Oh, 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 oh! 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 Oh my god! Oh my god. Oh. Hey, uh, sorry to bother you. Did, did we get any intruders today by chance? Oh yeah, boss. A guy came to rescue his girlfriend, but don't worry. I did exactly what you told me to, and I shot him! Ah, yes, I see. D did I do a good job, boss? Boss? No. <clears throat> hey, boss, I made your favorite, creme brulee. What? Uh, you, you haven't eaten in a while, so I figured, uh... Did he off himself? Uh, I'll just leave this here. <laughs> Ready, son? Dad, I don't want Fishy to go. <sighs> I know how you feel, but death, it's just a fact of life. It's time you learned. <laughs> All right, son, down he goes. But, Dad, it, it's Mr. Fuzzy. We talked about this. Fact of life. See you later, little nigga. Uh -huh. <laughs> small ass dog. I don't know if I can do it, Dad. <laughs> you must remember, son. <laughs> it's a fact of life. Dad, no. Don't worry, son. I'm going down to the sewers to hang out with the Ninja Turtles. What? Dad, the Ninja Turtles aren't real. What? No. No! Ah! <laughs> oh, cowabunga, dude. <gasps> Teenage Mutant Ninja Dog kind of has a good ring to it. My boy, I don't have much longer. It's okay, Dad. 
It's okay to let go. I'm a man now. <coughs> where, where is she? Where's the love of my life? Don't worry, Dad. I'll get my stepladder. Hey, Mom! You rung? Oh, my sweet Stephanie. When my planet, Earth, I think it was, exploded in fire, I thought I'd lost everything. But you, you made me the happiest man on this weird new planet. If, <coughs> if I could do it all again, I would. You can. What? You can do it all again with time travel. Say what now? On Ladder World, we can pass through time. It's very easy, effortless, in fact. For time is a cosmic ladder. You can climb both up and down, stupid. The hell? Have you never told me? Uh, I'm sorry. I thought you knew about time travel. I'm sitting here on my deathbed coughing and shitting, and you're telling me there's time travel? Sorry. I thought you were aging and dying as a prank to be funny. Gosh dang it, you gotta send me back. I gotta fix things. Of course, my love. Climb atop my infinite length. Oh, oh, I love it when you talk dirty. Here we go. Will we ever see Grandpa again? No. What I happened think we to will. him? Why is he don't a ladder worry, son. now? I've got my ladder. <laughs> Hey, it's me. Is it, you know, is it done? It's done. Your friend Wally? Let's just say he won't be bothering you no more. Damn. Oh, thank God. Thank me. Those pictures don't come cheap. You got my ten grand? Oh, well, I don't actually have any money, but I can pay you in... <coughs> exposure. Oh, oh, oh. Hey, there he is! Follow him! Oh, thanks, everyone. Come on, man. Everyone pops pills. Everyone cool, that is. Uh, I'm cool. I'm cool as fudge and beans. What do you think you're doing? Oh, oh, fuck shit. It's cool. His dad's here. Popping pills, Jonathan. Well, aren't you a big grown-up man? Big men don't pop one pill, Jonathan. They pop the whole bottle. <laughs> Wants a t shirt? <laughs> you heard him. You want more? <laughs> Light him up. do that to me even though it was funny enough to make me laugh thank you make sure to comment like and or subscribe hope you guys enjoyed the video twisms